What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to... I don't know, it's been a long time since I've actually played Remnant for the channel other than like build guides and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I asked you guys if you were interested in seeing some of my hardcore gameplay um, and uh, you guys said yes, so here I am. Anyway, let's get into what I'm doing, what I'm, how I'm choosing to start and so on and so forth. Uh, okay. Full disclosure, I have done one really serious attempt at hardcore thus far. It ended, uh, I think, yesterday, the day before yesterday, whatever, soon. It was, it, was, it, was, it was not that long ago. And I died to Annihilation, the last boss, in quite literally the last minute of the game. <laughs> I was at the end of the second phase, probably less than 20% HP left for Annihilation, and I choked, and and it died horribly. Uh, the build I was going for with that one was Handler for the primary, and Invoker for the secondary, uh, and I had a whole bunch of other stuff, and I, I didn't have, like, a build going or anything, I just pretty much, whatever I could grab, I grabbed and I used, and uh, it obviously didn't go very well. But anyway, uh... Let's get into this run. Uh, I decided to go with Engineer because I want to focus on the uh, the Vulcan. Good old standby Vulcan. It's a skill that I, I like and am comfortable with. Uh, I've already bought the Leto's Amulet to uh, get my weight down so that way I have a medium while I'm running the Radiant Protector set that gives me 42%. I think I'm just at 42%. Yeah, 42%. Uh, obviously, I'm power level 1. Started out as the engineer, so I have a pulse rifle, atom smasher, and rupture cannon. I bought the scrap shot, just for reasons. Uh, obviously, I bought the black cat band, Leto's amulet, and uh, I'm all out of scrap. Well, I have 140, but basically I'm out. Uh, anyway, let's let's get into this. Uh, I haven't decided what my first little world is going to be. I don't think I want to do. Losum first, to be honest. Um, I can't do anything in adventure mode. Um, oh no, actually I can because I uh, because I uh, uh, have beaten or not beaten. Well, yeah, I've beaten the game, but I mean I've, I've done other stuff. But I'm, I'm thinking I want to do Nerud um, for farming, just because uh, there's a lot of uh, equipment that I can get for the. Uh, engineer skill in Nerud. Um, I'm planning on going Invoker for my secondary, Ring of Ordinance, and Legacy Protocol, if possible. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. We're still in Hardcore, but for farming, I'm just gonna do it in Survivor, because why add the extra risk? Know what I mean? So this first episode is pretty much just gonna be me talking about the build that I'd like to do theory crafting and figuring out what I do. So I'm going to be running through this beginning part here in Nerud. I'm going to run through the open world, grab whatever items I can. I'm not planning on completing Nerud in adventure mode. I just want to mostly get Legacy Protocol, Ring of Ordnance. Those are required for what I want to do with this, uh, this playthrough. Uh... And then uh, anything else I could do to reduce skill cooldowns. So, yeah, I gotta do expertise as well. I might even spec into expertise before I do, like, HP or anything like that. I don't know. I have not decided yet. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I want to I want to focus heavy on uh want to focus heavy on the engineer skill. And if I can get the right setup going, it's a big if. Um I should at least get most of my infinite ammo turret build up and up and running. That's the idea anyway. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um I might end up doing some editing on this series. I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to do straight raw gameplay or or what. So, I don't know. 
I like the pulse rifle. Pulse rifle's a good gun. It's a good starting gun, too. Very reliable, accurate. Good range on it. What is it? Is it 15 or 20? It's 22 for the ideal range. It's actually longer than I thought. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Rupture cannon is fine, I guess. Um, I've personally never really used the rupture cannon much. I know Rockman liked to use it for a little while there. So yeah. I'm planning on doing this uh, solo, but if any of my friends come on and they want to join me, then I'm not going to say no. Um, I may end up asking someone to give me a hand with the Labyrinth boss fight, just because you can kind of anchor for that one. If you don't know what anchoring is, it's where, uh, at least that's what we call it, uh, anchoring is where you have a co-op friend uh, sit at the stone uh, by a checkpoint before any boss or any encounter that could potentially kill you. If you die in the boss fight, then you will just be warped back to the stone instead of getting a game over. So, I don't know. I might do that with with Labyrinth. I haven't decided. Anyway, so, now that we're here, uh, what I'd like to do is get trait things where possible, like this. And then also pick up the equipment, and that'll pretty much be it. Once I do that, I can I can leave the stage. So, it would be really nice if I had the Explorer right about now. But I don't, so I can't. It's okay. I mean, it's not like it would matter much anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into expertise. Would be lovely if I could get that up to 10. Uh, that'll only help out immensely. Only. So I'm looking for the purple item right now. Let's try not to die here. Uh, I look for it. Now, the open worlds, if you weren't aware, they do end up uh, mostly repeating the same types of worlds. There's like three or four different tile sets you can get. As far as your open world is concerned. Nothing too crazy. Oh, it's you. Great. There's quite a bit of equipment I would actually really enjoy getting in Narud. Uh, there's some good amulets you can get. Obviously the one I'm looking for is Legacy Protocol, but there's some ones that I wouldn't mind getting and utilizing. Uh, there's some really good rings you can get. One of the amulets that'll help out a lot is actually uh, oh, what's it called? It's 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 one of the new ones. It's uh, it, it's the one that gives you infinite ammo. Oh, there's the purple. Wash, vacuum seal, uh, automatic pickup range, scrap iron ammo, give a shield. I mean, not terrible, but not entirely useful. It's not one of the worst shield items to get, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we're we're done here. We can we can leave and restart. As I run around. I was considering doing this off camera. All this farming for the items that I wanted, but, uh, yeah, that's fine. What did we get for... 
Uh, not much. We got a crystal and that's it. Okay, well, better than nothing, I guess. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be, by the way. I have not decided. So, we're going to go ahead and get a reroll. No problem. I think when I actually start up the campaign and start running that, I think what I'm going to end up doing is going with Yasha first. Probably fight... Or, I say fight, but... Fight the Ravager. Uh, and by fight the Ravager, I mean just... You know... Kill the doe and that's it. I think the Forgotten Prison start is a little bit faster than the Seeker start. Hopefully it won't take us too long. I mean, okay. This could take me hours to farm what I need to farm. So we'll see. Last time I ran around and looked for the Legacy Protocol in the Ring of Ordnance, it only took me... It only took me like a half hour doing this method. Where you just restart over and over and over again. Depending on how many times this takes me. I could also get... Uh, Turn down the sound effects slightly, just because it's a little, a little loud. There we go. Yeah, but uh, depending on how many times it takes me, I mean, I could get my traits leveled up. How much experience do I get? Half a level. I don't want to level up too many times while doing this. Typically speaking, the lower the level you are, the better. The last time, the last time I ended up uh, running through the campaign, my uh, my level, or rather my power level, I think was I don't know ten, and that made uh, that made annihilation. I think. No wait, was annihilation fourteen? I think annihilation was fourteen at the very end. Um, neither of my archetypes were rank 10. I think uh, my invoker was 7 and my handler was maybe 5 or 6. So yeah, not too crazy. Took me about 7.5 hours to get to Annihilation. Relatively slow, but I wasn't exactly speedrunning it. I was trying to go relatively slow, just, you know, because I was being extra cautious because it was the furthest I had gotten in a uh, hardcore run. I had kind of run through hardcore games before. This was an incredibly fast find on this. Look at this. You love to see it. Give me something good. Ring of restocking. That's just extra ammo? No. no reload uh, five reloads within five seconds of a critical kill or weak spot. 20% faster. Wow, that's, uh, garbage. Garbage. Yeah, no, that's not great. Alright, so let's just run over to the checkpoint. I mean, I guess I could run to that checkpoint, but if I find the trait book on the way, that would be loverly. You guys stop what the hell all the enemies and bang <laughs> okay there's a lot of enemies for just little random bits there Keeping my eyes peeled for blue on the map.
you can one shot them. I mean, it'll definitely one shot him if I hit him in the eye. Probably one shot him. I'm definitely hitting from outside its effective range. Anyway, we got our first level up. No trait book still. I do need to pick up some of this material, too. Yeah, I gotta remember that I have automatic pickup on that. Not like super important or anything, but hey, 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 back off. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've checked to see, like, do you have to actually be on the ground for that to work? I guess so. go check that little outcropping over there for the trait book, but it's probably, like, right there. I don't know. I can't be bothered. I come, I'm coming here for the equipment primarily, not the uh, other thing. Uh, and there, there is equipment down here. How much money do I have? 339? I don't think that's enough to really buy anything. But There is equipment down here. We could get the overflow mod, I think. We could get... Uh, a ring that'll help with cooldowns. We could get, uh, how many keys? One key? One key. Lame. Not like I was gonna do it anyway, but still. Two keys is what you're looking for on that. Okay. I guess at the least I could sell this. I'm not planning on using Overflow. Even though Overflow is really good, I'm not planning on using it, so we can get 750 credits out of that. Uh, my goal right now, first and foremost, should probably be to get 1,500 credits. So that way I can... Uh, I don't really care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care. I mean, that's good, but... I don't care about that right now. No. Increase school cooldowns. No. Suppression. Ward. Yeah, no. None of those. None of those are working for me right now. Now I got the plasma cutter. I could be talked into getting that, what is that, microprocessor ring or whatever it is, but. But I don't have it, so... Heck, even if I bought the LMG, it wouldn't be a terrible idea, but, uh... That's a, that's a conversation for a different time, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> oh, did I ask how everyone's doing? How's everyone doing? <laughs> 19 minutes into the episode, how's everyone doing? I really appreciate the support on the, uh... On the the most recent videos the uh, the build videos and all that some were more successful than others obviously but I think most of them got, got at least over 2,000 views so it's pretty good it's pretty good okay yes 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 tooltips get out of here McCabe my favorite okay uh, I don't think I want overflow um, Hot shot. I'm probably going to end up buying eventually. Uh, yeah, let's just yeah, yeah. sell that for the monies. Uh, that puts us up to a thousand. Not a lot. Not a lot of money. Let's go back into it. I don't know how many more times I'm going to try this. The whole 
uh, re-rolling and doing it. But, uh, I don't know. First episode it is what it is. I mostly just wanted to talk about kind of my approach for the build and whatnot. Ah. Uh, close do we get to level two? Not very close. Like a sixth of the way. Fifth of the way, maybe. Everybody's least favorite aspect of Nerud. Elevators. You know, actually, I think there's a there's a general feeling that people don't like Nerud. Um, I think it's just because it's so open. Like, it's a, it's a very horizontal set of levels for the most part, especially the overworld. So, I don't know, a lot of people tend to not enjoy Nerud. I like Nerud. A lot, actually. I don't know if it's my favorite of all the worlds, but it's definitely up there. Hello, Seeker. Goodbye, Seeker. Somebody was saying that they, uh, they couldn't emote on the PlayStation 5 for some reason. Like, they went into their, they went into their options and they looked at the controls and down on the D-pad where it says emote wheel, it didn't say that for some reason. It was weird. They were wondering if the most recent patch broke something, but I mean, I'm playing on PS5. And, uh, it's there for me. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe they were playing with an off-brand controller? I don't even know if that would matter. I wouldn't think it would. But, uh, I don't know. I don't normally see this, uh, little walk-up here. I should be breaking all this stuff, shouldn't I? Whoa! Okay. Just on the off chance that maybe we get a little bit of scrap. Look at that, 22 scrap. It was totally worth all that time. <laughs> Barely. Barely! Getting the scrap bobble would be nice, but that's in Yesha. There's no way I would be able to get that first roll. Because I'm not that lucky. I'm assuming we're not going to find what I want to find because I'm recording now and um, people aren't allowed to have luck when they're recording stuff. Right? He says as he remembers that he found an item the second he opened the door in the last run. And don't don't listen to that guy. That guy's that guy's a goofy goober. That's a that's a hole. And if I can get a crit, I can kill those guys. One one volley there. Or if I can get a critical hit, which not the most accurate, so... Whatever. Anyway... Let's keep going. Let's keep going, let's, let's find the stuff, do the things, and... Bonk that guy. Because I do have a melee weapon. Yeah, that's my biggest problem with burst fire weapons. Yeah, it helps you with ammo cons conservation and all that stuff, but... Overkill is a problem sometimes. Like, these guys, they either take three shots, with one of them being a crit or a weak shot, or, hello, or they take four shots, You didn't drop anything for me? I dropped a little bit of money, but that's it, huh? It's okay. 
Oh, we got a trait point too. Let's uh, do that. There's this little bug that can happen sometimes where it won't let you confirm the traits if that happens. You gotta get off of the card that you're currently on. Doesn't happen very often, but it happens enough that I've noticed it be a problem. Go. I mean, it's not even a, really a problem. It's just a little, a little annoying sometimes. But that's it. Easy enough to deal with. Where there's our item. Sometimes it can be hard to see. This is kind of a bluish, purplish, tinted world. Sometimes. Go turret. Be gay, do crime. Okay. Feedback loop. Perfect dodge. There's an explosion. That's. I'm getting some weird picks here. <laughs> getting some weird picks, game. This is a non existent build. Got a little bit of shield, a little bit of. You know, grabbing stuff. Now I've got an AoE explosion. This is this is a nothing. This is a nothing build. Like nothing synergizes. Oh, and we got our stupid little critical hit thing that is dumb. Yeah, we we've got some incredibly useless equipment. If I do say so myself. Which I do. How did that not damage me? It should have been damage. It's okay, I guess. Again? Come, come on, get out of the, get out of there. <laughs> Help if I had unsummoned my turret. We gotta be somewhat close, yeah. Three fourths of the way there. Relatively not a great run. I suppose there could be an argument made for I should go and grab that overflow thing. I'm pretty sure I can grab it again. Especially if I do need the money, which I do. Let's go check. I'm pretty sure it spawns back in. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. I mean, yeah, no, it's still there. So I guess this would be one way you could kind of make money in the in the very, very early game in Nerud. There's obviously better ways, but... Yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't get... 750 from picking that up again. Pretty sure you get 250. I could be misremembering the amounts though. I know if you sell it, you get 750. Which, can I sell it here? I can. There you go. It's 2,000 credits. Scrap credits. Who calls them credits? They're scrap, you idiot. Oh 
man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Stop telling me prompts and things. I'm pretty sure I have that disabled in my options. In my options, gameplay, subtitles. There's uh, disable tooltips on. There we go. I don't know why that was set up that way, but whatever. Okay. There we go. Good, they're not telling me to like upgrade and mod my crap anymore. Uh, right, let's go over here and buy the thing. If you didn't know, any unlocks of archetypes that you've done are account based. And the way that you can get them later, other than starting a brand new game and then choosing said archetype, is uh, you buy them from Wallace. I'm pretty sure you do still have to buy the uh, the whole upgrade to it, but yeah. As long as you've unlocked them at least once, you can just come over to him and die. I'm gonna buy the old flute. Do I need to craft this? Three more Luminite crystals. Thanks, Wallace. You couldn't have just given me the complete one. You had it on your person the whole time. You couldn't have just done that for me. No? Okay. That's that's cool, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go Invoker. I'm probably gonna use Invoker as the primary and Engineer as the secondary. That's kind of how the build goes. The reason for that is because the Invoker gives you double your ammo. I'm going to see if Cass has any Luminite Crystals. Maybe we get lucky. Well. Doubt it. Yeah, didn't think so. She never has what I want. Uh... Burden of the Destroyer actually isn't a terrible idea just because it would increase the damage that our turret does. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Uh, let's get rid of this thing, because I do not care about it at all. How much damage is our turret doing now? I think it was doing nine before. Now it should be doing like 10 or 11. Go again. I'm sure this first episode is gonna kinda push some people off from watching the rest of the uh, the series here, but uh, you know what? It's just it is what it is, you know. This is just it's the stuff you gotta do, you know. In my last hardcore run, I just kind of equipped whatever I could find the second I got it, and didn't really do any farming at all. And uh, I got pretty far, so I could imagine that uh, if I do a little bit of this prep work, I'm guaranteed to win. He says before inserting a clip of some nonsense happening and killing me. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. It's the first freaking episode. I don't even have footage yet past this point. Even if I wanted to edit in more stuff, I couldn't. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. What do you know over here, talking to this guy. He's a stinky boy. Bring me the skin deep. Indeed. Bye. Every time I run through this section, I can't help but look over there. Just for the, uh, the Dran guy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then don't worry about it. But yeah, basically what I'm saying is, uh, you need to wake up. Somebody just got PTSD flashbacks of trying to do that quest over and over and over again. And, uh, I'm not sorry. If I had to do it, you also had to suffer through it. So, yeah. 
No item straight off the bat this time? No? Thanks. Thanks, game. Love you. Oh, actually, yeah, it's right there. Very cool. Targeting jewel. Nonsense is this. range. Reduces spread, actually. Yeah, no, that works pretty well with Burden of the Destroyer. What we got going on right now? Good! So, 14. It doesn't actually tell me if there's changes, does it? No, it doesn't. Of course not. Yeah, didn't think so. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, 35% of 22, that would be 6, 7, 7 meters off of it. So if it was 7 meters off the 22, the plus the 4 meters would be 3 meters off. So 18. No, 19. Stupid. 19, uh, that's not too bad. Trait book, no trait book, no trait book. If only it were on the path every single time. It's probably right over there. I don't know. That might be where I also picked up the thing. I've decided to fold grabbing the uh, overflow into uh, this run. The extra 750 scrap is kind of hard to argue against in the early game. Especially considering scrap is kind of useful. Because I am still going to need to upgrade stuff. I'm still going to need to buy some things. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm going to hold on to it this time just because when we come back, I want to see if it gives us 250 or 750 scrap just for picking it up again. I'm going to think it's going to be 250. Huh. That's what I think. But it would be fine if I'm wrong. If I can get 750 just from picking it up and not having to waste that two seconds to sell it, fine by me. Also, it would be nice if we could get some more Luminite Crystals. I like that I can do the one-shots. Pretty nice. What kind of stuff would I want to do in the, in the one-shots right now? Sparkfire shotgun would be lovely. Um, the monolith, but that would require beating the one shot and fighting Lydusa. I 
I don't need to worry about getting any of the archetypes, obviously, because I can just buy those. Equipment would be nice. But that's all randomized, except for certain things. Hearts? Like, which relics would I want? I mean, obviously, I would like to get the Tranquil Heart, but... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that that's not going to happen, so... I don't know. I don't know. Shielded Heart? I think I get the Shielded Heart from... Wait, no, I don't get the shielded heart from that. What, what is the it's not the labyrinth, is it? Tell me. On the speed, you bring me the skin deep. Alright. Stop talking to me, gay. I'm assuming we're not going to find what I want to find in the first episode. So what I'm probably going to do is, after this run, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just look for what I'm looking for off camera. And when I find enough of my build, I'll come back and actually start playing uh, on camera again. Perfect. Perfect, as they say. Who's they? I don't know. Somebody with a speech impediment. Three percent, right? Three percent, six percent. That's way better. It's twice as good. I think for this build to work, I need, uh, I need that to be ten. I can get lucky and get some other things, which I doubt that's going to happen. Shit. Okay. Not a fan of that. Didn't even have the common courtesy to drop me a crystal, huh? crystal anyway. Is that it? No. That's the area downstairs into the hatchery or whatever. Where the heck is the item? Can't leave until I at least pick that up. Trait book is a bonus, but I'm only doing this for the items. getting a feeling that it's in the other direction. I'm pretty sure the items don't spawn inside of the little points of interest. They only spawn on these little, like, 
out in the open plateau areas. Could be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Crystal, come on. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Nope, definitely not what I wanted, especially with a burst fire gun. That is useless. Well, let's get out of here. But yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is, uh, Farming off camera, just so you guys don't have to sit here and listen to me ramble for another 50 minutes. You're welcome. But, uh, yeah, let's go see if uh, we get 750 or 250 for the, uh, the thing. I'll at least show that on camera. Seven fifty. Okay, so yeah, you don't even have to sell it. You can just hold on to it. I was wrong. Nine hundred and seventeen scrap. Still only have two crystals because we we are unlucky. Like especially with the amount of elites we've seen, we're very unlucky. You're not selling anything that I want right now, right? One of these days, one of these days, sleeping guy will be awake. Not today. Is that what I think it is? That's pretty good. That actually might be worth getting. Yeah, Come let's do that. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'm okay with swapping that out, to be honest. Okay, cool. Right, well, anyway, uh, that is going to do it for the first episode. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and record some stuff off camera. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, whenever I find whatever the heck I'm looking for. Bye!